It's exciting because it's new to me. It's fun to be part of it in a small way. I mean, the boots, everything, the detail is unbelievable. Clint Eastwood may be one of Hollywood's most iconic and controversial figures, but beyond the headlines, he's living a life of unimaginable luxury. With an impressive net worth of $385 million, Eastwood has not only built a cinematic legacy, but also amassed a collection of luxury cars and multi-million dollar mansions. From his Bel Air mansion to his private ranch in Carmel, California, his properties alone are jaw-dropping. And while he's made headlines for his multiple affairs and rumored addiction, it's clear that Eastwood's life off-camera is as extravagant as it is secretive. Eastwood's High-End Taste Like many Hollywood stars, Clint Eastwood enjoys indulging in the finer things in life, and his collection of luxury cars is a testament to his appreciation for style and performance. Among the vehicles in his collection is a Porsche 911 Turbo, known for its sleek design and powerful engine, as well as a Tesla Model S which reflects Eastwood's interest in cutting-edge technology and environmentally friendly options. One of the standout pieces in Eastwood's collection is a vintage Ferrari 365 GT4 BB, a model from the 1970s that is regarded as a symbol of wealth and status. This classic car not only exudes luxury, but also represents Eastwood's appreciation for timeless design and high-performance engineering. Owning such a rare vehicle highlights Eastwood's position among the elite, as the Ferrari 365 GT4 BB is both a collector's item and a statement of class. But Eastwood's love for luxury doesn't stop at cars. He also owns a multi-million dollar yacht, fully equipped with top-tier amenities. His yacht features five-star bedrooms, expansive outdoor spaces for hosting private events, and entertainment areas where Eastwood can enjoy time at sea with friends and family. This floating palace provides a level of privacy and exclusivity that only the wealthiest individuals can afford, offering Eastwood the perfect retreat from the public eye. Yachts like Eastwood's are symbols of the high life where luxurious living and private leisure blend seamlessly. Perhaps one of the most iconic symbols of wealth and power is owning a private jet, and Clint Eastwood has made sure to include this in his collection of luxurious possessions. Having a private jet allows Eastwood to travel freely, without the constraints of commercial airline schedules or the inconvenience of airport lines. It also enables him to attend major events, travel to exclusive destinations, and live a life untethered by the limitations faced by ordinary travelers. Eastwood's private jet, according to sources, is designed with the highest level of luxury in mind. Inside the aircraft, the interiors are fitted with plush leather seats and fine wood accents, creating an atmosphere that rivals a five-star hotel. The jet includes private bedrooms, workspaces, and entertainment areas, making it not just a mode of transportation, but also a mobile sanctuary where Eastwood can relax or conduct business in complete privacy. The value of such a high-end private jet is easily in the tens of millions of dollars, and the cost of maintaining it, covering fuel, maintenance, and the salaries of a full crew, adds even more to the expense. For Eastwood, however, this is simply another asset that reflects his immense wealth. His jet allows him to seamlessly navigate between film festivals, award ceremonies, and international conferences, all while enjoying the highest level of comfort and privacy. It's not just a matter of convenience. Owning a private jet is a clear symbol that Eastwood belongs to the elite class of the super-rich. Clint Eastwood's lifestyle reflects the immense fortune he has built over his decades-long career. From his extensive real estate holdings to his impressive collection of luxury cars, yachts, and even a private jet, Eastwood's life is one of extraordinary wealth and privilege. His ability to afford these luxuries is a testament to both his professional success and his savvy investments. Despite the controversies that have marked his personal life, Eastwood's taste for the finer things remains a constant.
His investments in real estate and luxury assets are not just for show. They represent the lifestyle of a man who has reached the pinnacle of success in both Hollywood and beyond. Whether it's a secluded mansion overlooking the ocean or a private yacht sailing the seas, Eastwood's life offers a glimpse into the world of the ultra-wealthy, where privacy and exclusivity are key. What sets Eastwood apart is not just his fame or fortune, but the way he has chosen to live, surrounded by luxury, yet maintaining a sense of personal freedom that allows him to enjoy life on his own terms. His jet, his yachts, and his sprawling estates all serve to highlight the extraordinary life of one of Hollywood's most enduring figures. Even at the age of 94, Clint Eastwood continues to embody a lifestyle that few can imagine. His wealth, combined with his desire for privacy and luxury, makes him a truly unique figure in the entertainment world, a man whose life of opulence mirrors the vast success he has achieved throughout his career. A complicated personal life, scandals and affairs. Despite his wealth and public persona of being calm and collected, Clint Eastwood's private life has been marked by scandal. Even at 94, his personal affairs remain the subject of intrigue. Throughout his life, Eastwood has been linked to numerous romantic relationships, many of which were marred by extramarital affairs and infidelity. One of the most notorious chapters in his romantic life was his marriage to Maggie Johnson. The couple tied the knot in 1953, and while they were initially seen as a stable Hollywood couple, their marriage quickly faced serious challenges. One of the most significant points of tension between Eastwood and Johnson was his refusal to have children for the first 15 years of their union. This created frustration for Maggie and laid the foundation for Eastwood's infidelities. During his marriage to Maggie Johnson, Clint Eastwood secretly began a relationship with Roxanne Tunis, an actress. This extramarital affair eventually led to the birth of Eastwood's first child in 1964. For many years, the existence of their child was kept a secret, with Eastwood managing to keep the details of his relationship with Tunis hidden from the public. It wasn't until 1989, when the press uncovered the story, that the truth about the affair and the child came to light. According to various reports, including an article from Nikki Swift, Maggie Johnson remained unaware of her husband's involvement with Tunis until the media broke the news. Despite being deeply hurt by the revelation, Maggie remained silent on the issue for some time, continuing her marriage to Eastwood. After the scandal became public, Roxanne Tunis chose to live a more private life, moving to Denver with her child to escape the media frenzy. Though Eastwood's affair with Tunis marked a turning point in his marriage, it wasn't the only affair he would have during his relationship with Maggie. By the time Clint Eastwood and Maggie Johnson's marriage came to an end in 1978, the couple had weathered numerous challenges, including Eastwood's infidelities. In addition to his affair with Roxanne Tunis, Eastwood had been involved with other women throughout their marriage. Despite knowing about his extramarital relationships, Maggie chose to stay with him for many years before finally filing for divorce. Their marriage also produced two children, a daughter born in 1972 and a second child whose birth details have been kept more private. However, their relationship continued to be tumultuous, with rumors of physical altercations adding to the strain. According to an account in Clint, The Life and Legend by Patrick McGilligan, a close friend of Eastwood, Fritz Maines, revealed that Eastwood allegedly hit Maggie during an argument, causing her to faint. This incident sparked public outrage at the time, but the matter was quickly swept under the rug after Eastwood sued the author and publisher of the book, for $10 million, claiming defamation. The lawsuit was later settled, but it further highlighted the dark side of Eastwood's personal life that many fans were unaware of. Clint Eastwood's tumultuous romantic life didn't end with his marriage to Maggie Johnson. Throughout the years, he has been linked to several other women and continues to be at the center of romantic scandals even in his later years. 
Eastwood's relationships have often been a mixture of public admiration and private turmoil, with his personal affairs consistently making headlines. Despite the controversies, Eastwood has managed to keep much of his private life under wraps, only allowing the occasional glimpse into his world of romance and scandal. What remains clear is that even as he approaches his mid-90s, Clint Eastwood's personal life continues to attract attention. As we've already established, Clint Eastwood's personal life is marked by a sharp contrast between his public image as a calm, steadfast Hollywood icon and the private reality of his relationships. While he has cemented himself as one of the most successful actors and directors in the industry, his romantic relationships and extramarital affairs have left a trail of scandal that cannot be ignored. Even though Eastwood has faced numerous allegations, infidelities, and accusations over the years, he has continued to maintain his reputation as a legendary figure in Hollywood. His ability to navigate the challenges in his personal life while remaining a celebrated star is a testament to his unique position in the entertainment world. Eastwood's life is a reminder that behind the Hollywood glam, there is often a more complex and turbulent reality filled with personal struggles and difficult relationships. While his contributions to cinema are undeniable, his personal life reveals a man who, despite his wealth and success, has faced the same challenges that many individuals experience in their romantic lives. Clint Eastwood remains a living legend in the film industry, but his private life continues to be a topic of fascination, highlighting the complicated nature of fame and personal relationships. His story is one of contradictions, as the man behind the camera and the screen struggles with the complexities of love, relationships, and the public eye. Clint Eastwood's Post-Divorce Relationships After his divorce from Maggie Johnson, Clint Eastwood continued to engage in relationships that frequently stirred up controversy. One of the most scandalous of these relationships was with flight attendant Jocelyn Reeves, which began in the early 1980s. The relationship was kept out of the public eye for many years, but it resulted in the birth of two children, Scott Eastwood and Catherine Eastwood. Eastwood's decision not to publicly acknowledge Scott and Catherine for several years fueled media speculation about his commitment as a father. It wasn't until Scott Eastwood pursued an acting career and openly acknowledged being Eastwood's son in interviews that the existence of these children became widely known. This revelation raised questions about Eastwood's responsibilities as a parent and his attempts to conceal his relationship with Reeves. Unlike many of the other women involved with Eastwood, Jocelyn Reeves did not engage in public battles over financial support or custody of the children. Their relationship quietly ended in the early 1990s, but the public discovery of the two children still generated significant backlash, with many criticizing Eastwood for neglecting his responsibilities as a father. One of the most high-profile relationships in Clint Eastwood's life was his long-term affair with actress Sandra Locke. Their relationship spanned 13 years, beginning in the 1970s and continuing until it came to a bitter end in 1988. Locke and Eastwood lived together for over a decade, but despite the length of their relationship, they never had children together. The end of their relationship was anything but amicable. Locke filed a lawsuit against Eastwood, accusing him of sabotaging her career as a director and using his influence to block her from advancing in the film industry. This legal battle became one of the most infamous Hollywood scandals of the 1980s. In her lawsuit, Locke claimed that Eastwood had emotionally manipulated her, using her for his own satisfaction while stifling her professional ambitions. According to Nikki Swift, Locke accused Eastwood of cruelty and emotional indifference, describing him as a controlling figure who had deceived her for years. She sought financial compensation and support to rebuild her directing career, but Eastwood denied all allegations. He dismissed the lawsuit as an attempt by Locke to gain money. Despite the public tension, the lawsuit was eventually settled with Locke receiving a large financial payout. 
However, the damage to Eastwood's public image was undeniable, as many criticized him for exploiting his power and influence. In 1992, Clint Eastwood entered a new phase of his personal life when he began a relationship with Dina Ruiz, a television news reporter 34 years his junior. This relationship, which led to marriage, attracted significant media attention, not only because of the age gap, but also because it showcased Eastwood's continuing ability to capture the interest of much younger women. At the time, Dina was just 28 years old, while Eastwood was 62, a fact that surprised many. Despite the age difference, Eastwood proved that his charm had not diminished with age. Known for his confidence and masculine demeanor, he was able to keep their relationship exciting. Dina even shared that Eastwood would set an alarm to wake up in the middle of the night to spend time with her after late hours of work. This small gesture showed that despite his age, Eastwood was still passionate and attentive. In 1996, the couple welcomed their only child together, a daughter named Morgan Eastwood. The family appeared happy for many years, but after 17 years of marriage, Clint and Dina divorced in 2013. The separation attracted a great deal of public attention, especially because it was reported that Eastwood had been involved in other romantic relationships during his time with Dina. These rumors added yet another layer to the complexities of Eastwood's personal life, reinforcing his reputation for being unable to remain faithful in long-term relationships. Eastwood's Ongoing Romantic Scandals in His Later Years What continues to surprise the public is that even at 94 years old, Clint Eastwood remains involved in romantic relationships with much younger women. His vitality and enduring charm have become topics of great interest in Hollywood, with stories of his active dating life circulating widely in the media. Despite his advanced age, Eastwood has maintained relationships with women decades younger, sparking a new wave of curiosity about his personal life. Various reports from entertainment outlets suggest that Eastwood has been accused of inappropriate behavior with younger women, with allegations of flirting and dating well into his 90s. These stories continue to keep him in the public eye, with many people questioning how Eastwood can still maintain such an active social life at his age. In recent years, some of these accusations have focused on inappropriate behavior, with some women suggesting that Eastwood's interest in much younger women crosses uncomfortable boundaries. These reports have not been fully substantiated, but they have nonetheless contributed to his reputation as a man whose personal life continues to generate controversy well into his later years. Clint Eastwood's enduring appeal and vitality have become central themes of his public persona in his later years. Despite being over 90, Eastwood continues to command attention from much younger women, not just because of his fame, but also due to the confidence and presence he exudes. His life stands as a testament to the resilience of his personality, proving that he is still capable of captivating those around him. While his romantic entanglements have often made headlines, they have also solidified his image as a Hollywood legend who, despite his age, has not slowed down when it comes to relationships. His continuing charm and allure are not just byproducts of his career. They are ingrained in the way he carries himself and interacts with others, even in his 90s. A life defined by controversy and complexity. Clint Eastwood's life, particularly his romantic relationships, remains one of the most complex and controversial aspects of his personal journey. From his early affairs to his long-standing relationships, Eastwood has faced criticism for his behavior toward women and his inability to maintain monogamous relationships. Despite these controversies, he has continued to live his life unapologetically, drawing interest from both fans and critics alike. Eastwood's story is not just one of Hollywood's success. It's a story of human complexity. Even as he ages, his actions continue to spark debate and intrigue, demonstrating that his influence goes beyond the screen. His relationships, filled with love, scandal, and controversy, offer a glimpse into the man behind the Hollywood image. 
Though Eastwood is a figure of immense professional success, his personal life reveals a man continually grappling with the intersections of fame, power, and love. Even at 94, Clint Eastwood remains a force to be reckoned with, showing no signs of stepping out of the spotlight when it comes to his romantic life. His relationships may have been controversial, but they have also shaped the narrative of his life, making him one of the most compelling figures in entertainment today. In addition to his controversial personal life, Clint Eastwood has established himself as a prominent figure in Hollywood, not only through his career, but also through his immense wealth. Among the most significant aspects of his fortune is his extensive real estate portfolio. Eastwood owns a series of high-end properties in some of the most sought-after locations in the United States, showcasing his taste for luxury and exclusivity. One of Eastwood's most prized possessions is a $5.7 million mansion located in Carmel-by-the-Sea, California, a coastal area known for its breathtaking views and high property values. This particular mansion overlooking the Pacific Ocean is a stunning blend of modern and classic architectural design. The home features top-tier amenities, including a private swimming pool, a gym, and even a golf course, all of which add to its allure. Carmel by the Sea is known for being a playground for the wealthy, and Eastwood's residence fits perfectly into this exclusive community, which is frequented by some of the world's richest individuals. In addition to his Carmel home, Eastwood also owns a $20 million estate in the famous Pebble Beach area. This estate spans hundreds of acres and boasts panoramic views of Monterey Bay. The Pebble Beach property is not only a personal retreat, but also located near some of Eastwood's favorite golf courses, making it an ideal spot for relaxation and hosting high society gatherings. The estate is designed to take full advantage of its natural surroundings, with large gardens and ample outdoor space that create the perfect environment for luxurious parties. Beyond California, Eastwood has also invested in properties in other prime locations, including Beverly Hills, Hawaii, and Idaho. Some of these properties are used for his vacations, while others serve as lucrative investments. Collectively, Eastwood's real estate holdings are valued in the tens of millions of dollars, contributing significantly to his overall wealth. Beyond his iconic Hollywood career, Clint Eastwood is also admired for his business skills. While his acting and directing work has earned him widespread fame, his smart investments have played a crucial role in building his immense fortune. Eastwood has diversified his financial portfolio by heavily investing in the real estate, restaurant, and hotel industries. One of his most notable investments is the Mission Ranch, a hotel and resort located in Carmel-by-the-Sea, California. Eastwood purchased Mission Ranch and transformed it into a renowned tourist destination. His vision for the resort didn't just focus on profit, but also on preserving the natural beauty of the surrounding landscapes. By combining his passion for nature with business, Eastwood created a retreat that reflects his personal values. Visitors often catch a glimpse of the star at the resort, where he occasionally plays the piano in the hotel restaurant and chats with guests. This laid-back environment allows him to connect with locals and tourists alike without the usual media attention. The Mission Ranch, a personal and environmental legacy. Mission Ranch has become more than just a business venture for Clint Eastwood. The resort has allowed him to merge his interests in hospitality and environmental conservation. He invested significantly in maintaining the area's natural landscapes and wildlife, ensuring that the property remains an eco-friendly haven. His dedication to preserving the environment through Mission Ranch is a testament to his love for nature and his commitment to safeguarding natural beauty. Eastwood's involvement in the resort goes beyond overseeing operations. It's a personal passion project. He has used Mission Ranch as a platform for charity events, blending his philanthropic goals with his business ventures. These events, held at the picturesque location, bring together people from all walks of life and help raise funds for vital causes. 
particularly those involving environmental conservation and supporting underprivileged children. Clint Eastwood's luxurious lifestyle extends far beyond his properties and business dealings. Despite his wealth, Eastwood is known for his commitment to philanthropy and his efforts to quietly give back to the community. One of his greatest passions is environmental preservation. Through his charitable activities, Eastwood supports nonprofit organizations and campaigns dedicated to protecting the planet and its resources. He frequently organizes charity fundraisers that attract the elite, raising significant amounts of money to address pressing environmental issues. Eastwood also uses his influence to promote conservation projects, calling for the public to join efforts to protect the earth. This passion for nature is not limited to local efforts. Eastwood's charity work often extends globally, drawing international participation and raising awareness for causes that matter to him. In addition to his focus on the environment, Clint Eastwood dedicates a considerable amount of time and resources to supporting children in need. His philanthropic efforts often center around providing financial assistance to nonprofit organizations that work to improve the lives of disadvantaged children. These efforts show a more compassionate side of Eastwood, who, despite his tough on-screen persona, cares deeply about making a positive impact. Mission Ranch, the resort Eastwood owns, has been a frequent host of charity fundraisers aimed at raising money for causes he is passionate about. These events often bring together high-profile guests and influential figures from around the world, all working towards shared goals. Eastwood's dedication to organizing and participating in these events underscores his genuine concern for social issues, particularly those related to children and the environment. While Clint Eastwood's name is often associated with fame, wealth, and luxury, his personal involvement in charitable causes proves that he is much more than a Hollywood star. Through his investments, business ventures, and philanthropy, Eastwood has shown that he is deeply committed to giving back. Whether it's through preserving the natural environment at Mission Ranch, raising funds for environmental organizations, or helping children, Eastwood uses his platform and influence to create meaningful change. His philanthropic activities, coupled with his success in the business world, demonstrate a man who balances his love for luxury with a sense of responsibility toward society. As Eastwood continues to enjoy the fruits of his success, his work in charity and environmental conservation leaves a lasting impact, highlighting the importance of using wealth and fame to support meaningful causes. The Humble Beginnings of Clint Eastwood's Career Clint Eastwood's journey to becoming one of Hollywood's most respected figures began in the 1950s, but his early years in the industry were anything but easy. During this time, Eastwood often found himself in supporting roles, primarily in low-budget films where he had minimal screen time and lines. One of his early breakthroughs came in 1959 when he was cast in the television series Rawhide, portraying the character Rowdy Yates. The show gave Eastwood the exposure he needed, and it slowly began to attract the attention of producers and audiences alike. Though Rawhide was a pivotal point in Eastwood's career, it was only the first step toward greater success. His calm, rugged persona on screen hinted at the potential that would eventually launch him into international stardom. The real turning point, however, came with his roles in Sergio Leone's Spaghetti Western Trilogy during the 1960s. The 1960s marked a significant chapter in Clint Eastwood's career when he starred in Sergio Leone's iconic Spaghetti Western Trilogy. These films, A Fistful of Dollars, 1964, For a Few Dollars More, 1965, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, 1966, solidified his place in cinematic history. Playing the enigmatic man with no name, Eastwood brought a distinct presence to the screen characterized by a few words and decisive actions. His cold, unflinching demeanor became a symbol of the American cowboy, turning him into a star seemingly overnight. This trilogy not only introduced Eastwood to international audiences, but also redefined the Western genre. It presented a grittier, more complex version of the American frontier, 
with Eastwood at the center of it all. By the end of the 1960s, Clint Eastwood had firmly established himself as one of Hollywood's rising stars, known for his unique on-screen persona. Following the success of the Spaghetti Westerns, Eastwood took on another career-defining role as Inspector Harry Callahan in Dirty Harry, 1971. This role further cemented his image as a no-nonsense, tough-guy hero. Dirty Harry became a major success, sparking a franchise that included films like Magnum Force, 1973, The Enforcer, 1976, Sudden Impact, 1983, and The Deadpool, 1988. Harry Callahan, with his iconic line, Do You Feel Lucky Punk?, became a cultural touchstone, and the character has since become a pop culture phenomenon. The Dirty Harry series helped Eastwood expand his reputation as a star who excelled in action roles. His portrayal of a hard-edged cop willing to bend the rules to pursue justice reflected the tensions of the time and resonated with audiences, further boosting his career. But Eastwood was not content to be typecast as just an action star. He soon began exploring other genres, showcasing his versatility as an actor. While Clint Eastwood became known for his rugged action roles, he also displayed remarkable range in other genres. One such example is his role in Play Misty for Me, 1971, a psychological thriller where Eastwood played a radio DJ stalked by an obsessive fan. This film marked Eastwood's directorial debut, and although it wasn't a box office smash, it laid the foundation for his later success behind the camera. In 1995, Eastwood starred in The Bridges of Madison County, opposite Meryl Streep. His portrayal of a sensitive, love-struck photographer revealed a different side of the actor, and the film's emotional depth surprised audiences accustomed to seeing Eastwood in more stoic, action-driven roles. His ability to transition smoothly between action and drama demonstrated the full scope of his talents as an actor. Eastwood's success wasn't limited to his work as an actor. In the 1970s, he began transitioning into directing and producing, further cementing his influence in Hollywood. His directorial debut in Play Misty for Me introduced audiences to his creative vision, and over the years, he continued to explore this craft. Two of his most notable works as a director are Unforgiven, 1992, and Million Dollar Baby, 2004, both of which earned him Academy Awards. Unforgiven was a powerful examination of violence and redemption, starring Eastwood alongside Gene Hackman and Morgan Freeman. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning him Oscars for both Best Director and Best Picture. This project redefined the Western genre once again, moving away from the romanticized view of the American frontier to one that was darker and more introspective. Million Dollar Baby was another milestone in Eastwood's directorial career. The emotional tale of an aging boxing trainer's bond with a determined young female boxer not only won Best Picture, but also earned Eastwood his second Academy Award for Best Director. These films showcased his ability to handle complex, character-driven stories, making him one of the most respected directors in the industry. One of the key reasons for Clint Eastwood's success as a filmmaker is his control over his projects through his production company, Malpaso Productions. This company gave him the freedom to pursue films that aligned with his creative vision without interference from major studios. It also allowed him to work on projects that pushed boundaries and explored deeper themes, such as morality, violence, and human psychology. Eastwood's role as both a producer and director has ensured that he remains a significant force in Hollywood, able to take on a wide range of projects. Even in his later years, his films continue to resonate with audiences from Gran Torino, 2008, to American Sniper, 2014, both of which garnered critical and commercial success. A Lasting Impact on Hollywood 
Clint Eastwood's career has been marked by longevity, with no sign of slowing down even as he reached his 90s. While many actors and filmmakers choose to retire, Eastwood continues to direct and produce films that captivate audiences. His recent works, including The Mule (2018) and Cry Macho (2021), highlight his enduring passion for storytelling. Cry Macho, in particular, is a testament to Eastwood's dedication to the craft. Not only did he direct the film, but he also returned to the screen, proving that even in his 90s, he has the stamina and skill to take on significant roles. This film marked yet another chapter in Eastwood's illustrious career, blending elements of the Western genre with themes of redemption and personal growth. Clint Eastwood's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Over a career spanning more than 70 years, he has influenced not only the action and Western genres, but also elevated the art of filmmaking with his work as a director and producer. From his early days in supporting roles to his rise as a leading man and eventually a celebrated director, Eastwood's journey is one of perseverance and innovation. Even as he continues to work into his 90s, Eastwood remains a source of inspiration for actors and filmmakers alike. His ability to adapt, evolve, and maintain relevance in a constantly changing industry is a testament to his exceptional talent and dedication. As he continues to explore new projects, Clint Eastwood proves that age is just a number in the world of cinema.